Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive tip video for you today. I know a lot of people are struggling on defense, and I got to be honest, I'm winning most of my games because of my defense. So I'm going to go over some really good tips today. Uh, before I get into the video, though, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this gameplay, because ultimately, I'd like to do a lot more gameplays. I was only really doing practice mode videos because I was waiting to finish my ebooks, which are essentially done. I'm rolling them out now. You'll see links in the description, or you can go to MaddenMoneyShot.com for the people that want to pick that up or get them on my Patreon. There's plenty of ways to get them. But ultimately, from here on out, these are going to be the type of videos. Not a lot of practice mode is going to be happening anymore. So, starting off, first tip, last year I was telling you guys to match personnel. <laughs> This year, I think it's important because of the lack of speed to really be plus one in the speed category on pretty much every play. So I'm going to come out in a dime, even though he's in a two wide receiver set, an obvious running set, I'm going to come out with some extra speed. It doesn't necessarily work out in the first play, but that's fine. Because when a game starts the first drive, you're really just doing study on your opponent. You're really just trying to, you know, it doesn't matter if they succeed or not. You're really just trying to pick up on what their tendencies are. And on that first play, it hits me with an inside run. That, that gives me enough to know that I should probably go with a wider alignment based off of the look. So I come out in the next play, I put I come out in a 3 3 5, but I'm still not giving up that speed advantage because to me, that's the biggest weakness in this game. The linebackers are pretty slow. I want some speed out there. On the very next play, we get a nope. stop. As long as it's not like a third and one or a goal line or something like that, that's not a big deal to me. So next play, I try to match personnel. I'm coming out in a man coverage a lot. Man cover two is pretty much my favorite defense. You're going to see it's going to be pretty shut down here and throughout this gameplay. But the formation he's in, he makes a very smart read a very easy read where he sees the senses of man coverage there's no uh, receiver on this there's no cornerback on the side because there's no receiver on the side so he switches it to the man side uh, like I said it's a smart read I mean I can tell now based off the fact that he did that that I can't come out in too many man coverages because he's going to keep making that read on the very next play we switch it up uh, we come out in a cover four quarters and sure enough we get a much better a much better result a much better stop on the next play I'm still kind of mixing it up trying to find some new looks I'm using a, a new play out of uh, the three four like I said I mean, it's a bit of a run blitz, but I still am not giving up too much on the pass. So I'm just, I'm still kind of expecting some passing to come out of this guy. Hit him with a cover two invert. Uh, and then ultimately, I try to shift to take away that play. He immediately flips it. So that's something, once again, he's showing me another tendency. If I flip, if I try to shift, he's going to flip it. You know, all these little things are just adding up to the point where he's basically writing the book on himself. And it'll come in handy as the game continues. So next play, I run another man coverage. He almost beats me outside again. So he's just piling up the tendencies that I have to remember second and 13 this is another one i mean not a lot of people are going to run on a second and long like this i mean it's still only second down but ultimately you know that's that's a really big tell so i'm to the point now where i realize this guy's not going to pass at all he's basically just a run first player next play i step into the gap but derrick henry carries me five yards and almost scores from the five so this drives a wash but i have all the information i need on him i know exactly what he likes to do next play he goes for two uh which i guess he's just one of those guys and he actually passes for the first time in the entire drive which is super weird uh, so first and 10 on the offensive side I'm using the Ravens playbook because I really like the running formations, but I'm not really a great runner. I'm just a passer. So these first couple of plays don't work out too good. And then I go back to basically what I am. I'm going to spread and shred. So I come out in a pass play, and I can tell right away based off of the look that this is probably a man coverage. So I'm going to hit him with a slant over the middle. Sure enough, I mean, I just want to safe catch, make sure I get that first down. Uh, next play, like I said, I'm going to keep coming out and pass heavy looks. That's just that, that's pretty much just how I like to play. I'm trying to hit him with some QB draws, but I see an obvious cover too based off the fact that there's no Nobody aligned over the tight end. When you have cover twos, you want to look for routes like this. When it has this little bend, this tiny little insignificant bend, uh, it's basically a cover two route that's going to get outside the press typically. Then when it gets past the cornerback, I'm just going to bullet past the outside, and we're going to have a really easy one play touchdown from about 70 yards out by just simply hitting a streak. On the next play, I'm going to go for two because he went for two. Do you like apples? So we're going to hit him with uh, the Heisman uh, formation, which I just put out. Uh, get a weird animation, but I mean, that was just super easy. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I'll try to put a link in the description if you guys want to see that series of plays. So on the very next series of plays, I'm still trying to find a good base defense here to stop this. Uh, but I'm going to go to my coaching adjustments. Coaching adjustments are really important. I'm going to change my alignment to base. So basically, when he comes out looking for that advantage that he had, he's not going to have it anymore because this cornerback is going to stay over there taking away uh, that outside run. So it basically makes him pretty predictable. Since that's his read, I know that he's going to be going to the wide receiver side pretty much every time. And it's just going to make stopping nope. that much easier. 
So now that I know where the play is going to go pretty much every time, now I have to change up my defense. When it comes to stopping the run, the size of your defense doesn't really matter. It really matters what defense you run. Cover threes are not going to stop outside runs. They're really soft outside, so I'm going to go with cover two hard flats. Cover twos, you can see the cornerbacks are just right where they need to be to try to cut off those lanes. Then I'm going to press because ultimately I know he's going to run He's going to run the ball, so I don't really have to worry about him throwing over the top of those cover two cornerbacks. We're going to go ahead. We're going to bring them right into the box, and then on the very next play, you're going to see we're going to have a much more successful effect. Cover threes are much better for inside runs, but outside runs are very weak. So next up, we're going to go with some pre-snap reads. He's switching it up. He's in a gun formation. Uh, I know based off of this pre-snap read that where the running back is, there's really only one successful run that he can make, and that's the inside zone. He could try to run outside it with a counter, but that's not very successful. So typically, knowing that he already ran this and remembering his tendencies, I'm just going to set my defense up, bring the cornerback inside, nope. uh, and we're going to shut down again. So we're getting some really good stops now. He's going to go for it. He hikes the ball while I'm still setting up my defense and I get stuck on a 60 speed DT Vita Veil. Oh, you almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. And I still almost make the play, uh, but sure enough, I mean, you have Mike Thomas, the number one receiver in the game. Uh, he's going to beat that. So I, he, I give it up on a technicality. Very next play, we try to go with an extra blitzer, but it's not a cover too hard flat. You can see, I mean, I, I had pretty good containment. He barely slips through, gets a big run. But I'm making the mistake of using a Tampa 2 instead of a cover 2 hard flat. So that's why these outside zones aren't doing as good. Cover 2 hard flats are much better when it comes to maintaining those edges. And something that's even better is blitzing safeties. I go with a double safety blitz. And you're going to see how these safeties really help with these outside runs. As I shift away, and he still makes an incredible play, stuffing him for a couple yard loss. So second to go from far out. Once again, this is a tendency where he's shown in the past he's willing to run from this distance. This is another thing where typically people are going to a pass so i come out of pass defense but i know based off of the alignment again it's going to be an inside zone or bust so i'm going to use her that gap and then sure enough he tries to throw a streak gotcha, bitch. i don't know if he thought it was a, a cover two zone or what but he throws right to uh, my cornerback we flip around we get a really easy pick ending the threat so tied eight eight in the second half my ball um i have some successful runs in this gameplay because i really like the ravens offense but ultimately i mean i'm more of a passer so a couple as you can see i'm leaving a lot of me on the bone that guy just came out of nowhere i, I thought he was blocked uh very next play going back to the heisman uh, formation one more time i have i had space there i mean i just didn't take it wide so just little things i'm messing up and then sure enough i'm trying to hit him with a qb draw one more time but he comes out in obvious uh cover zero something is wrong here yeah, giveaway. So I'm just going to get him ahead with some zigs and put this guy on the zig on this side, put this guy on the zig on the other side so he can't use them both. And then sure enough, I mean, they're both going to beat these man coverages pretty easily. I had a, I, once again, left a lot of me on the bone. I ran out of bounds even though I was trying to turn up uh, and, and hit the burners, but I just didn't, you know, I didn't have the athleticism. Next play, another man coverage. Um, I mean, the, the, George Kittle got open, but for some reason, my, my slot receiver, my actual receiver couldn't get open with any more separation than that, but he still made a big play. And that brings me to my next uh, topic, which is, you know, make adjustments. I mean, I hit this guy on three straight plays with zig routes because he's an obvious man coverages, and he never made an adjustment. So we get inside the 20, and I decide I'm going to run it again. I go back to the Heisman formation, and I probably shouldn't have because I was having a lot of success uh, basically beating those cover, you know, beating those using those zigs. I finally get to hit him with a quarterback draw, and I almost carry it in from there. Uh, as You know, i got got to use Lamar, man. If i got Lamar, i got to use him. He goes, he's going to clamp down the run, though. Now that I'm inside side the two he comes up with a big hit stick and on the very next play he gets penetration nope. um, so i'm back in a position where i gotta be passing again we try to do the zigs because i thought he was in the cover two man but obviously he was not so i'm not gonna throw it i'm not gonna risk an interception right here i'm gonna try to make a play with my legs and i almost do uh but ultimately i'm just gonna take the field goal i mean we gotta take the points we gotta be smart so we take the field goal take the lead uh three minutes left in the fourth quarter he's got ball we're gonna come back out we're gonna keep rocking these uh these tampa twos hit these hard flats because they we're having the most success because that's typically what they're meant to do uh we're shifting we're doing a lot of shifting and every time i shift i notice that he's his quarterback moves and shifts to play so i'm trying to shift with it uh but ultimately i don't have i don't control when the ball is snapped and he basically you know flips it and hits me where i'm weak but you can see i know exactly what he's doing you got to watch for tells i mean i know what he's running when he's running it and it's all things that i probably shouldn't as a defensive player but i know exactly what he's doing so next play on a second and one he hits me with another pass he hasn't really throwing the ball too much a uh, another blitzing safety play that i've been using quite a bit the fs3 blitz when i come to the line though i mean i think it's a pass so i actually decide to use her the blitzing uh safety typically you want to use her a free defender and since linebackers don't have a ton of speed you typically want to use her either a blitzing safety 
your blitzing cornerback. That's a trick that I've been using quite a bit because that's a free defender. The blitzes aren't really getting it anyway. So instead of using a linebacker or something like that, I'm just going to use the fastest guy on the field, and that way I can cover more space when it comes to pass plays. So another pre-snap read come up here. I, mean, I can tell based off the alignment again that it's either an inside zone or there's not really much else that he can do as far as a run play. So I'm going to set up my defense for the inside zone. And Get over here! really gets nothing so third and five he hasn't been having a lot of success so now i'm coming out my pass heavy defenses and sure enough he tries to hit me with a pass and we get an easy pick gotcha, bitch. as we jump this route and we're taking it back to the house so that's all she wrote he's going to pull the ripcord he's going to call game on that one uh but if you guys want to see more game plays like this let me know in the comment section with the like button i'll keep doing them other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below